Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Virgos. Virgo, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Virgos for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Your person is showing up as the Six of Swords. They're viewing you as the Three of Swords. What you're not seeing is the King of Swords. And you have the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, I'm seeing like major, major red flags showing up here. And we do have the Fool. I think, Virgo, it's really important that you focus on someone new. We have all reversals coming out. I know some of you... That bothers you, but hey, it's the way the cards came through. Um, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse tells me there's something unhealthy about this connection. They may not even be single, but they are coming back to cause conflict and drama. And I do feel this person's a player. And I think this person is really triggered by the fact that you're holding back from them, Virgo. I feel this is someone who's probably broken your heart. But we do need to, we do need to know why they're showing up so heavily in your energy. Some of my Virgos, this is just really unhealthy or toxic, especially in the long run. It's important that you have strong boundaries, Aries energy. And yeah, wow. I think this person's really drained your strength. I think they're going to continue to try to drain your strength and your energy here, Virgo. Um, build up your strength and your courage. Get into a healthy energy. Focus on you. It might be hard because I feel like every time you're ready to let go of this person, they come right back around. Or just as you're starting to feel really good, they're going to try to send something to you that like is like, I don't know, hurtful or tugs on your heartstrings. It's just this person is, um, yeah, they're, I'm not getting that they're any good for you, to be honest. They are coming back around and they're going to cause conflict and drama. Yep, this person can't be trusted. Yeah, but they are trying. They, This person might give off the impression that they're like an angel, right? That they're angelic, that they're pure, that they're super spiritual. Virgo, do not buy their BS. I don't think you do actually anymore. Um, but I, I think other people do. Again, we're like getting major covert narcissism here. Um, the Three of Swords showing up in reverse tells me you holding back from them is what drives them crazy. They know that you've been hurt and disappointed, and I feel like they've actually done a lot to make you feel that way. And wow, yeah. Virgo, some of you, this person was like telling you things like, you know, no one's going to love you the way I do. You're never going to find anybody as good as me. I, I can honestly say I really dislike this person's energy, and I think other people see them as an angel, maybe it's their family. I'm just picking up on like major covert narcissism here. King of Swords in reverse, big red flag. It just gave me chills. This person's nasty. This person's manipulative. Yeah, you've rejected them. They may have even rejected you, but this person, they spend a lot of time in their head about you. This is someone that doesn't like rejection, Virgo, and they're gonna try to make you pay for it. And that and that's a big warning. Some of you, this is somebody you're you're divorcing and you already know this. King of Wands, I'm, I give yourself permission to jump in a new direction. I mean, like run in another direction, avoid drama. And we get the star card coming through. Um, so yeah, avoid drama. I think you have something unexpected and new coming your way. Yeah, put yourself out there, Virgo, four of cups in reverse, run from this energy. You know, this, this message has been coming through in a lot of these readings. And I don't know if it's the Scorpio moon. I don't know what it is, but... It's like this person is like a big fat no. This could be somebody that you are recently like you've just been on a date with. It could be somebody that you're getting a divorce from. Please trust your intuition. Move in a new direction. This is not good for you. And hopefully a lot of you, this is something in your past and you're like, yep, done, moved on, right? Thank you. Please, please, please. Because I don't, I do not like their energy at all. Not for you, Virgo. Not for you. I mean, not for anybody, but I'm just saying it's not for you. Um, actually, I don't want to pull any more cards on them because I, I want to get as far away from them as possible. Like it's giving me like chills, but not in a good way. All right. You know, obviously not in a good way, but 
All right, let's see. What is this new direction, this new beginning here for my Virgos, please? What's this new beginning, this new direction for my Virgos? Somebody who has a lot to offer. All right, they've worked hard to achieve their success. And I kind of feel like this energy, Virgo, telling you about this new energy coming towards you is gonna really help you stay strong, have strong boundaries against this other person. Because I, I do feel like they they know how to get your goat. They know how to make you hurt. They know how to like, you know, tug on your heartstrings. This you have a life partner coming towards you, and they could be a Gemini. All right, and they're an entrepreneur. So this is somebody who's done very, very well for themselves. They probably have strong Gemini placements or they just embody Gemini energy, which is somebody who's quite gregarious, somebody who's funny, they're smart, they're chatty, maybe a bit of a social butterfly. Um, I like that energy. I like this energy a lot. Um, let's see how you'll be able to identify this Gemini energy coming towards you, Virgo. This is the direction you need to take a leap of faith towards. Some of you might be taking ginseng at this time. All right, to help you with like energy and things like that. I am also getting this past person. They might have like, I don't know, I, they might have done amphetamines, Adderall, things like that. Like abused it. That's what I'm getting. They might, and I feel like, they, I don't know if they're like a lawyer or they have a high-powered position. People see them as an angel, but you know they're not Virgo. I don't like this energy. All right, this new person may have tattoos. Okay, they're known to be sarcastic. They own their own home, so they've done really well for themselves. The sarcastic energy, I feel like, is like not like they're snarky. I just feel they're intelligent. You know, they've got a dry sense of humor and they've been really hurt by a loved one in the past. They could also be a widow or a widower. They are somebody who's already around you or has been around you and they might speak with an accent. So that could indicate they come from a different city, state or country here, Virgo. Yeah, this is your energy. This is your energy. This person's no dummy, right? This person's no dummy. They've been through it too, but they're in a really good balanced energy. All right. So we get divine timing. It's going to happen serendipitously or when you least expect it. The divine is bringing you this person. This is your twin flame. You know this soul that mirrors your own. A lot of you, you already know this other person, but it doesn't mean that you're dating. I mean, some of you, hopefully you are dating them, but I feel like more so like it's somebody that like maybe you meet through work or you've met through friends or something. And it's going to be a very healing, transformative connection. Boom. There it is. And spirit saying natural evolution. Um, let the situation unfold naturally. Just strong barriers, please, Virgo, um, when it comes to this past person. Def I mean, I just like straight up get covert narcissist energy from them. All right. I'm going to leave it here, Virgos. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Virgos. Take care.